Howdy folks. Crack is us lot, absolutely mental. We're uh, pitched up on a, well it's not really a cliff edge, but it's uh, up high on the, uh, on the east coast above the North Sea. It's pretty breezy, but it's not too bad. But, um, do you want to see me view from my tent? I'll show you how look. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So hopefully it won't rain, because I think it's going to rain everywhere else tonight. The wind's due to be about 10, 15, 20 mile an hour gusts, I think, which is no problem at all, like so. Should be a good night. <sighs> Look at that fella. <laughs> That's a guy who's had a hard paper round. Man, looks like an absolute tip. Hey, it's homely. I call it homely. So organised. How's your pillow? That's all right. Not too bad. It's all right, actually. For what it is? Five skadoots. Mm. Boosh. Me and me dad. I'm out with me dad. He's taking us out for the night. He's going to treat us to a couple of weenies later. <laughs> Tent, two tents, three tents, <laughs> he pitched that tent in four tents. Anyway. Howdy doody! Right, you know, we, we've retired. I think it's uh, oh, see that the time there, the top corner. 18 minutes past 11. It's quite late actually considering earlier on we were, we were wondering what we're gonna do with our time. But uh, it's been good crack, absolutely good, absolutely mint. Nice to meet Danny. Nice to meet Rob H. And we've just all, uh, Danny's been in bed with me, Andy and Rob's just been standing out and talking absolute rubbish, having, a, having our booze. Rain came a bit earlier, about half seven, dashed in the tent for a minute and then came back. I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been cold. The wind's never ever stopped, but let up for a little bit earlier and then it's just never stopped all night, like so. You got my exped map back uh, after I sent that back away and got told <coughs> that it wasn't a manufacturing error and that it was uh, my fault. And even though I'd paid eight quid to send it back to them, that I wasn't going to get a refund on me uh, on me me postage and I wasn't going to get a new mat. Basically all they did was they fixed the little puncture hole that was in the bottom of the mat but I'd only ever used it once so I don't understand how uh, how it could have punctured to be fair like but bit of a bit of a uh, bit of advice for anybody buying a, an X-Bed Sin Mat UL7 Maybe spend your money wisely somewhere else because these things aren't, they're not made to last like. I've had two. One went back because it popped a chamber. One went back because I had a hole in the base, which apparently I did. Uh, so, you know, just if you're going to buy one, just be a bit cautious with it, you know what I mean? So, but I just going to chill it out. But I need to go to sleep, so I'm gonna get all my kit off and probably see you in the morning like so bye night.
Morning campers. It's uh, just gone seven o'clock and I'm packed. I've got a few things to put away and then obviously the tent to put away. Just been over to make sure Andy's awake. And uh, says he has a beautiful night's sleep. Ah, a can't night's sleep. Lovely. He's having some crazy dreams though last night. Um, ex bed mat didn't deflate in the middle of the night, which is a bonus. So hopefully that's what might last a little bit longer. Like, the sun's not up yet. I'm not sure yet. Long. And then we'll head on out. <laughs> 